Have you ever wondered how fighters dodge lightning fast strikes they barely see? Or why they fall for something as simple as a feint? The truth is, there's a storm of neurological activity happening in every fight. And the more we study what's happening up there, the weirder it gets. This is the neuroscience of fighting. Reaction time versus speed of strike. Roughly, an elite fighter can land a punch in 300 milliseconds. That's how fast their fist goes from launch to impact. But your brain? It needs around 500 milliseconds on average to fully process what it just saw. That means, in a real fight, you're getting hit before your brain even finishes processing the danger. The consequence? If you rely on pure reaction, you're already too late. So how do world-class fighters deal with this? They don't wait. They read the signs before the punch is even thrown. Pre-movement cues. Fighters train to predict, not react. They look for tiny cues. The way someone moves a shoulder, shifts their weight, breathes differently. These are pre-movement cues, and they're like spoilers for what's coming next. After thousands of rounds, your brain gets faster at spotting them. Not consciously, but automatically. Like muscle memory, but for your eyes. It's like spotting storm clouds before the rain. If you know the signs, you can grab an umbrella before you get soaked. It's like dodging a jab before it's thrown, just because you caught the left shoulder starting to move. The benefit? You move early, you save energy, you avoid damage, and sometimes you can set up a punishing counter. But here's the craziest part. Learning how to move, how to strike with rhythm and timing, doesn't just come from physical training. Your brain can sharpen those skills just by watching. Mirror Neurons When you watch someone throw a strike, your brain quietly simulates the same motion, as if you were mentally rehearsing it. That's because of mirror neurons, a system in your brain that activates during the observation of movement. It's the same mechanism that helps babies learn to smile by watching their parents do it. So even when you're observing someone hit pads, spar, or fight, your brain is internally processing the timing, rhythm, and technique. It's like shadow boxing in your head. The benefit? It supports motor learning, even without physically performing the strike. But the same brain that helps you learn through observation can also be deceived. Because when a fighter feints a strike, your brain's attentional system can be momentarily tricked. And that delay can cost you. Inhibition of return. Let's say a fighter feints a left jab to the head. Your brain locks on. Attention is fully focused. But here's the glitch. After the feint, if your attention shifts away to something else, your brain becomes slower to refocus back to the original spot for about 200 to 500 milliseconds. It thinks, already checked there, nothing important. This delay is called inhibition of return. And in a fight, it can create a temporary blind spot. The consequence? An opponent can feint to draw your focus. And if your attention shifts away, the real shot can land before your brain can catch up. And it gets worse. Because the more chaos there is, the harder it is for your brain to keep up. Cognitive load. During a fight, your brain is juggling, distance, timing, breathing, feints, footwork, pain, panic. This mental workload is called cognitive load, and when it gets too high, your decision-making starts to crack. Just like juggling too many balls, eventually, something drops. The consequence? You make mistakes, you miss cues, and in a fight, one mistake or one missed cue is all it takes. And when your brain is overloaded, sometimes it just straight up blanks. Attentional blink. Here's a weird one. When there's a lot going on and two things happen really fast, one after the other, your brain might process the first and completely miss the second. This is called the attentional blink. It's a tiny window where your attention briefly drops out. Think of a fast one too. You see the jab, but you don't fully register the cross. Your brain is still processing the first strike, so it lags on the second. The consequence? The cross lands clean because you couldn't adjust or prepare in time. And in a fight, that tiny delay is all it takes. 
fighting isn't just about how hard you hit, or even how fast you move. It's also about how well you understand the brain, and how to weaponize it. Because in the ring, the real battle isn't just physical, it's also neurological.